one cup of confectioner's sugar, and two cups of milk. And we're just gonna stir that all up. I think it's stirred up enough. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria from Keep You Holistic, where I talk about healthy living, motherhood, and more. And today, I'm gonna be making some Thanksgiving sides. So I have all my ingredients out here. I'm gonna be making today some cornbread stuffing. It's a sage and apple, gluten-free cornbread stuffing. So I'm gonna make the cornbread first. And you could just leave it as is. You can just um, make cornbread if you wanted to, or you can turn it into a stuffing. So I'll show you how to do that. And I actually grind up popcorn in my grain milk and use that to make corn flour so that's what I'm doing today and I was going to make like a whole Thanksgiving meal and record that for my channel but I just felt like it might be a little unnecessary and it would probably be better use of my time to just focus on the side dishes because um, I think a lot of people have their own way of making turkey. Everything is cooked from scratch and so what I do is I like to make things ahead of time and freeze them like pies or pie crusts. I think I'm going to try it out, but I think my stuffing might be able to be frozen and then reheated. We'll see. Um, it's like green bean casserole, the onion, the fried onion topping, you don't want to freeze that. You don't want to make like the casserole and then save the fried onion topping for uh, Thanksgiving Day. So first we're going to make some cornbread stuffing and then tomorrow we're going to make some green bean casserole and then we're going to do cranberry sauce and uh, pecan pie. So now we have our corn flour here. We have one cup of that and we're going to add a cup of almond flour here. You can use any type of flour, like if you have einkorn or all purpose. You might have to adjust the liquids a little bit but this kind of works um, for anything. Um, we got a cup of that, and then we're gonna do a teaspoon of salt, and I kind of just eyeball it. And a teaspoon of baking soda. Yeah. Now we're gonna add a half cup of coconut sugar. Mine's a little bit stiff, so it's sitting in the pan. These are all our dry ingredients, so we're going ahead and mixing those together to make sure they're well combined before we add our wet ingredients, which are going to be two eggs, a half cup of, or no, a whole cup of milk, and a half cup of butter. is baking I chop up some onion celery and apple and then I saute the celery and onion is done I cut it up into one inch cubes and then toss it with the apple celery and onion and bone broth then I add a few herbs and toss and bake again for 15 more minutes
making green bean casserole is making the fried onion topping. And that consists of warming up coconut oil on a high heat. And you're gonna slice the onion thinly and toss it in egg and almond flour. mushroom soup to go in the casserole and first you saute some mushrooms and garlic then you add in some white wine bone broth and cream then I add some salt spices and Parmesan cheese and then I add a little bit of arrowroot powder to thicken the soup make my cranberry sauce and I start with a cup of pineapple juice and I dissolve a fourth of a cup to a half a cup of honey in it. Next I add two and a half cups of cranberries and one and a half cups of pomegranate seeds and I love the taste of pomegranate and cranberry so that's why I make my sauce this way. It does add a little bit of extra crunch so if you don't like pomegranate, you can just leave that out and then add one and a half cups more of cranberries. Eventually you should start hearing a popping noise and that means that the cranberries are popping and then take it off the stove and if you let it sit for a little bit and especially if you put it in the refrigerator, the sauce should thicken. So in the end, I did end up adding a few spices to the sauce to make the flavor pop out more and I added allspice, nutmeg, and cinnamon and it was really good that way. coffee today. <laughs> hey guys, so today is the Sunday before Thanksgiving, so it's in a few days and I'm planning on putting this video up tomorrow. So I haven't gone around to making any kind of pie yet, so I'm leaving out the pie out of this video. I am going to make it for Thanksgiving, I just haven't had time to make it for the video, so I'm just you know sticking with three recipes that we have already. And I hope that you enjoy these recipes. I hope that maybe you might make one of these recipes. Let me know if you do. You can tell me down in the comments. Um, and I have the cornbread stuffing already up and I'm trying to get the other two up. I'll have them up soon, hopefully before Thanksgiving. So this is the first time I've had coffee in several years. So if that's any indication of how tired I'm feeling. Um, just been working on some house projects. We've been doing some painting and stuff. So I'm a little bit tired out. <laughs> and you know, a little break. Um, there won't be a video this Friday. It's Black Friday, so I'm taking the Friday off. And there'll be a video next week. And if you're interested in any of these recipes, I'll have the links down in the description box. For the cranberry sauce, you can make it with orange juice. I just like to make it with pineapple juice. So, you know, you can do that. Um, you can put orange zest in the cranberry sauce. It makes it really good if you want a little extra orange flavor. So let me know if you make any of these recipes, and I'll see you guys again soon. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be well, guys! <laughs>